Good morning, Startup City speaking, and I'm, I just went to go and buy some food stuff in the local shop, and I want to say that as a restaurant that is starting, you can also have various kinds of things that you're selling. Uh, from plates to pots to pans to food products and things in order to supplement yourself as a business. So it, you are cooking at the same time and you can sell in fresh whatever it is that you buy from the market. So, yeah, this is how we do it. It's messy right now. That's how kitchens usually are when you start. And you feel like you are um, dirty all the time and undermined even yourself. But your food is tasty and people are coming and rushing and buying. So you almost like think, what is it I am doing? I'm not feeling too good about the business that I'm doing, but other people are enjoying it. And if later somebody comes to you to advise you to say, okay, you have to change how you, you know, present yourself and all of that. The next thing you start getting confused about whether you're doing the right thing because customers will be shocked to see that in all that cleanliness that you have, your food is no longer as tasty as it was before. You see, that is where startups lose their passion when they have to change from the initial stance to a different level entirely. So my advice would be this. In order to keep sanity and you need to remain in that same culture of your being, what you can do is have your setup as a startup that you used to be like and then have the changed format of what you are so that you can always go back to how you used to be and regenerate yourself and gradually you will move out of that favorite place that you used to be as a business person so memories matter a lot to business people and one has to cherish that and consultants usually make the mistakes where they don't know how to coach people out of their initial position into uh, another step level. So uh, they are usually very critical to the information that the startup is sharing and they lose business because of that. So knowing how to explain yourself, how to communicate as a consultant, as a coach, as a counselor is very important and you are always going to be looked at in a very confusing manner because people don't understand how can you be kind in one moment and then harsh in another moment and then meek in a third way so in a in in a, how do they say it in a country of two-eyed man the one-eyed man is king. So there are certain quotes that are business quotes that you need to work on. And they are forever rejuvenating. Renewed information comes from it based on the type of experiences you get. So some people may consider you a hypocrite that you are today changing from one into another. They, they are the ones who have remained in that memory state um, they want to see you there all the time in that mind frame in that place meanwhile you have changed and you want to change so that you can grow and that causes tension for the individual and uh, that is where rifts starts happening in family settings in business settings and there is always a need for an intermediary to talk between and in order to bring a wholesome view to things.
um, perhaps you don't know about the mafiosi, how they operate in the ladder of business. A lot of corporate organizations do not understand why there is so much de deliberation between family members and social members and they call them corrupt because they don't want to inform them about how their practices are, which is why you see the nonsense going on in Sicilian and American societies. So stay tuned. Let's hope that uh, this advice works for you. Startup City Boa speaking. Hello.